Hey guys, it's Becca Gamer or Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel, my lovelies. I hope you're having an amazing day today. And if you're new to my channel, hi, like I said, my name is Rebecca and let's get into this video. First, I want to say Happy New Year. Hopefully 2021 will be a lot better than 2020. Second, um, if you want a tiny little update from the video I posted before, it's just a Christmas haul. If you want to go check that out, I'll leave it up in the eye if I remember how to do that. It's been a while. I'm out of quarantine. Um, I haven't, I got retested because my job wants me to get retested before I'm able to go back. I got retested. I haven't got my results back yet. So I haven't gone out or anything. I'm still technically in quarantine because I haven't gone out anywhere. But um, yeah, that's a whole mess whole mess but today's video is about PewDiePie um if you don't know who PewDiePie is I would be shook because he has the most subscribers on YouTube he did his like he did a live stream but his last video that he uploaded um it was basically about 2020 like and like the new year going into 2021 or whatever um but one thing that he brought up that I want to make a video response to is his book club um I recommend to go watch that video. I'll leave that up in the eye as well. Um, he talked about multiple things in that video, um, just like his goals, things that he wants to do, but he's also doing a little book club thing. It's not necessarily like, oh, I'm going to read this book and I want all of y'all to read it. It's just like, hey, I'm going to start reading this book. I'm going to read this many pages a day and I'm going to finish this book by January and then I'll do a book review and talk about the book that I'm reading to you guys. That's basically what he was saying. And that really inspired me to start reading because when I was younger, I used to read a lot. And then I got into high school, got a lot of work, a lot of homework, a lot of stuff to do, never really had time to read. Then we went into quarantine. I went crazy, bought a bunch of books, bought a whole bookshelf, started reading in quarantine. And then school started back and I stopped reading again. But it's 2021. I'm not big on New Year's resolutions. I think it's dumb to make a goal for a whole entire year. It's a lot better to make smaller goals and that's exactly what PewDiePie or Felix, that's what he was saying, like, just make a goal. You know, he has to read like 15 pages a day. That's like 20 minutes max. You can do something for 20 minutes every day. It's just 20 minutes. You know, if you think about, oh my God, I gotta read a whole book in a month like that that's a lot more stressful you know so I want to do the same so that's what I'm doing now I'm gonna pick a book I'm gonna show you guys tell you guys a little bit about it how many pages I have to read my goal yada 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 and then at the end of the month when I finish it not if I finish it when I finish it I'll do a book review and tell you guys about it I'm so excited like his video really inspired me and I love reading I have so many books that I haven't read that I bought over quarantine and I'm just like oh my god I can't find the time to do it but if I set these small goals for goals for myself I can do it so for the book club challenge I picked Radio Silence by Alice Oseman sorry about the glare um, this book was actually recommended to me by a youtuber here on YouTube I'm not a big like fan of booktube like the book community on youtube it's hard for me to sit and watch a video of someone talking about books they like because i honestly don't care like i'm not gonna trust your opinion because many different people have many different ways of how they like to read what they like to read etc etc but there is one youtuber i'll leave her channel linked up in the eye her channel name is paperback dreams i follow her on instagram as well um, I actually really enjoy her content. I really relate to her. She's amazing and I actually trust her opinion when it comes to books. She's very blunt and I'm very here for it. And this is her favorite book of all time. I haven't watched her videos in a little while because I've been going through it, you know, with COVID or whatever. But last I checked, Radio Silence was her favorite book and I bought it right on the spot because I'm like, if she loves it, I'm probably going to love it. Um, so that's where I got this book recommendation from. I did start reading yesterday. I annotate my books. Um, so that's what this is. Um, that's not a part of the book club challenge or anything like that. I mean, it's not really a challenge. It's just you setting a goal for yourself. But um, that's not a part of it. That's just what I do when I um, review my books or whatever for Goodreads, which I will leave linked in the description. So this book is 473 pages long. If I read 17 and some change, 17 and a half, whatever the math is, about 18 pages every single day until the last day of January, I will finish this book by January. So that's like 25 minutes tops a day just to finish this book before January or at the end of January. Um, I read my 
pages last night. I actually read to page 20 last night. Um, this, oh my god, I am so excited about, first of all, this book. Um, I can already tell the main character, Frances, she has everything figured out. She is amazing academically. She's at the top of her class. She has everything figured out step by step on what she's going to do after she graduates, what college she's going to go to, et cetera, et cetera. And I just have a feeling it's setting that up for it to all crumble down. And I can relate to that so much. I always try to be two steps ahead, especially with school. Like everything seniors are stressing about right now, I already stressed about my sophomore and junior year. I'm not stressing about my senior year. I already did that stress in junior and sophomore year. You know what I mean? I've always been two steps ahead. I always have to have a plan ahead for everything. I, that I just overthink about everything and I have to have a, play a plan A, B, C, D, like anxiety, right? I'm, that's my biggest fear. Like I'm planning all of this out and I'm just waiting for the day for my life to take a turn that I never expected and all of my plans to come crumbling down and I'm gonna have to start from step one. You know, that's scary. And I have a feeling that's what's gonna happen in this book. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this book. I am so excited. Secondly, I'm really excited about this book challenge. I never thought about reading in pages. I've always thought, okay, we're gonna read 12 books this year. I read this many books in this many months so I can read this many in the next couple of months. That's how I always split my goals up, my planning for reading books for the year. No, we're gonna do it by page. We're gonna do 18 pages a day, 25 minutes tops, and we're gonna get my reading in. And we're gonna start reading again, and we're gonna start it off with a banger. I really hope I love this book because paper, Paperback Dreams love this book. I'm really excited, and at the end of January, I will be making a video, because I will finish this book, and I really hope you guys will actually care, <laughs> but I'm just so happy that Felix made that video and that I watched it. Like, he really inspired me. And he's totally right. You know, I, like I said two seconds ago, I made my goals way too big. Just a couple pages a day, every day, 25 minutes a day. That's simple. Making your goals, it's different for everybody. Some people can make a goal for a whole month. Some people can make a goal for a whole six months. It's just what's best for you and honestly it takes a long time to figure that out but I honestly think doing it this way, doing it the Felix book club way, I feel like this is really going to help me get back into reading and actually making time for reading. So I'm going to take you guys along with this journey. I don't know if I'll do it with every single book but I am going to do it with the first one and I just want to say I know PewDiePie is not going to watch this but I just want to say a quick thank you to him for making that video because I know I'm not the only person he inspired through that video but I just I'm so happy I watched that video and I'm so thankful that he is spreading that responsibility and spreading that positivity that you can do what you want you can achieve your goals you just have to set your goals differently whether it be big goals small goals small goals are a great way to start I am so excited so yeah that's it for this video if you guys like this video don't forget to click like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i hope you have an amazing rest of your day stay safe and i'll see you guys whenever i see you guys bye